Hello and welcome back. My name is Tom and some of you might know me as Bowl of Salmon on Instagram. Today we are welcoming a new brand to the channel. Well, Fierce isn't exactly new. They are one of the oldest British watch companies and have been around since 1846. They are just new to me. Well, not really, since I've been pondering on this video since October last year. But anyway, in today's video I'm getting hands on with two sizes of the Fierce Brunswick collection. And after this video, I hope I'll be able to tell you if size really matters. We will do a side-by-side -side of the Brunswick 38 Copper Salmon and the newly created Brunswick 40. And yes, Fierce totally sent me two salmon-colored dials. I wonder why. Well, first of all, we are popular. I mean, salmon dials are popular. And the 38 was already a crowd favorite in the Fierce catalog, so it made sense to introduce the color into the 40mm range as well. There is something about salmon dials that I don't like. Yes, I'll say it. I'm typically not a fan of salmon colored dials, as in me personally. I think mostly because they are a tricky color to get right. Either they come up carroty orange or barbie pink or brownish. But these ones, these ones are really like, and I'm not getting paid or anything to say this. So this isn't a collaboration, it's just me checking out the Brunswick. Let's have a look at the specifications and cover the basics. On the left side we have the Brunswick 38 and on the right the Brunswick 40. Both feature a really nice executed 1316L stainless steel cushion case, finished with a mix of brushed and polished surfaces. They both feature 20mm lugs and are both available on either a leather strap or the 5 link bracelet with the butterfly clasp. Anyone else curious how these will look on a NATO strap? Well, stick around. I just couldn't resist. The 38 features a manual wind ETA 7001 movement where the 40mm houses an automatic 2824-2 movement. On paper, both should give you a 38 hour power reserve. The redesigned case architecture and the new screw down crown on the 40mm also gives the watch an improved 150 meters of water resistance. That's 50 meters more than the 38. Now onto the dial details. Both feature the same tone of salmon but have a different dial finishing. On the Brunswick 40, the salmon dial features a raised section with hand brushing in a vertical direction and the lower inner section features a fine sandblast finish. Where the 38 features a delicate vertical brushing applied by hand, covering almost the complete dial, with only the subseconds at 6 breaking this up. This effect is complemented by the concentric circle finishing. It's difficult to describe the color on these. It's perhaps easier for me to explain what it's not. It's never an ugly copper or an ugly brown or a bland orange tone, and don't call me an expert, but these are some really nice tones of salmon. Another big difference is the handset used on the two models. The Brunswick 38 has the typical skeletonized fierce hands and have a blued finish. The color of the hands changes from black to an almost electric blue depending on how the light hits them. The Brunswick 40 is different from its smaller brother with a diamond cut black gold coated handset. The highly beveled hands will make these hands shine from a silvery tone that clearly shows the beveling to an almost pitch black 2D looking handset. The handset on this watch clearly is more legible and makes the watch look more sporty. For a proper product hero shot I just couldn't really decide how they visualize to the wearer most of the time, silvery or just black. The hour markers on both dials are executed with the bespoke fierce Edwin numerals. The 38 numerals are diamond polished, sandblasted and coated in anthracite and the numerals of the 40mm are diamond polished and then coated in black gold. The larger 40mm looks beefier, sportier, yet the watch never loses that fierce elegance. The cushion case makes these watches look and wear smaller. Both watches have a total height of just 11.6mm, including the sapphire crystal. Both watches are available in a leather strap or with the stainless steel 5 link bracelet. The bracelet looks and feels super high-end. The combination of brushed and polished links follows form with the finishing on the case. The bracelet feels smooth with well-rounded edges on the links and fitted with screwed links. With an offering of 6mm and 8mm links it shouldn't be too hard to find a perfect fit with the butterfly clasp. The Brunswick 38 has more classic dimensions and definitely wears more dressy. On my 16.5cm wrist I'm stuck smack in the middle in between of what I prefer wearing but both work for me. I never really like to call brands a micro brand, Fierce definitely doesn't deserve that label and plays the league higher than the others. Of course, they are also a step up in price point. The level of attention to all the elements on the dial and case certainly support this. Fierce offers a very refined product with premium looks and excellent finishing. I had fun spending some time with these on the wrist. I never experienced the cushion case design before and it leaves me hungry for more. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. 
Were you already familiar with Fierce and what are your favorites from the brand? Let me know in the comments or come find me on Instagram. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one.